guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a Fiesta ST right here that we have on our main channel. We have amazing view there and also we have that uh, Scion there that you can see, FRS. Check it out guys, it's on World Mechanics, our main channel. And today we will be doing a cork spring uh, replacement on this one. This is the part number right there because ours was in an accident and uh, what happened, the rack and pinion was broken. You can check it out on our main channel, it's there and they messed up the cork spring so uh, we need to replace that one because the airbag light is on and we have the codes that trigger that so uh, check it out if you need to and i'll stay with us and we'll show you how to replace it okay and uh, what you need to do you need to open the hood first and you need to disconnect the battery before we do that and you need to disconnect it at least 30 minutes before you do the job so that way the airbag module will have enough time to discharge Okay, 10 millimeter socket and you can undo the positive terminal right there. Okay, make sure it's not touching. Okay, we have it, it's stuck there now. Okay guys, so if you get a hex key, long one, like that. Now in order to remove the airbag, there is, uh, so far I don't think there is screws or anything. Those are for the steering controls, don't remove those. So if you go in this hole, in an angle, okay, you find it, there is a spring actually, okay, right there, and oh, you can push it in, and you can see the airbag moved a little bit already, so we need to find, there is a few of those, I'll, we'll show you where exactly they are, stay with us, the same thing on this side now, okay, oh, do one more, and then we have a last one, which is on the very bottom, okay, right here, and you need to do the same thing, but you need to find the spring. Okay, uh, if you don't find the spring, it's not going to work. And it's going to take some time. Because this one is not so easy to access as the other ones. I don't know why. We'll see what the deal is in a second. Okay, so we're actually using a little bitty screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver for here. And it's easier to press on this side. Okay. And airbag is out. You can see, it came out. All we have is here the connectors now, uh, which uh, you just squish in and pull up on this, on this model. Okay, squish right here, both of these, and always pull straight up, never twist because you're going to mess it up if you twist. Okay, right there. Now we have uh, this one, this wire right here that needs to come out. And this is stuck pretty good here. Okay, let's see how it's going to come out now. Okay, you press right here and you just pull it out okay guys and this is the airbag okay so now we need to disconnect uh, the cable there okay got it out right there so uh, we can uh, we can remove the steering wheel okay so with a 24 millimeter range guys uh, socket with a breakover bar uh, you remove the steering wheel bolt and always use threadlock when you reinstall it Okay, so we now can go ahead and pull it out. Okay, you can see the whole the whole steering wheel right there, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, now with the uh, with the T25, we need to remove a couple of screws here that hold the trim. <coughs> okay, the trim for you can see turn signals, uh, windshield wipers, uh, all that stuff there on the console and uh, once we remove the trim we should be able to get uh, closer and closer to the cork spring and actually replace it because ours is not so good and you can see we have the one on the bottom right there in the middle so so far we have three screws the bottom one is actually with a t20 so uh, make sure you get it right t20 and the, the ones right behind the steering wheel are t25s Okay, hopefully we don't break anything now, <laughs> any any of the trim here, let's see. Have no idea how to pop that thing yet, but we'll figure it out guys, so you don't have to break yours. So if you grab it there on the back, it will come loose and 
it will start separating the top from the bottom piece and oh that's that's just stressful right here not to break it okay oh my goodness okay and uh, we have the handle probably there yeah for adjusting it and the top piece we can just leave it there now and that's it cock spring right here so first we need to pull that cable there okay two cables you can see and once we pull those we should be closer and closer to removing it okay you just press uh, you can see press back and it releases the yellow cable the white one you just press down okay now we need to we need to release a couple clips to actually pull that thing out uh, we'll show you once we remove the part guys what you need to do because that's uh, pretty inconvenient there but hopefully we can get it how are you guys and it's it's out of there now and uh, let me show you you need to just uh, release those two clips right there and the one on the bottom so you have two clips on top and one on the bottom and that's uh, that's the old cork spring there so it's really important guys not to get it out of alignment now you can see that thing never ever pull it out until you have it installed there and it's where it's supposed to be because otherwise it might not work you might have a steering angle sensor uh, code and all that kind of stuff and you might need to even buy a new spring if you don't align it good so uh, we just push it in okay we're just gonna push it in like that should be good now we need to connect all the wires and things like that okay let's see how it works now okay and just push in the wires until they click okay two wires there and one after we install the steering wheel we have uh, one more oh right, yes you just put it back together just the same way we took it apart you need to put all the trim together now and uh, we'll be almost ready to pull that thing out of there okay everything clicked real good Having three hands is always helpful, I guess. Okay, now we are actually ready to pull that thing out, okay? So you just pull it out like that and it's good to keep that one because later, if you need to adjust it. Okay, right there now. Let's just install it and uh, see what it does. So we're going to reset the code. You need to make sure everything lines there and we need to get the ball tight now. So all we gotta do, just connect all the cables now and uh, stay with us. So we'll connect it to our uh, programming device and we'll see after we clear the code if everything will be good. Okay, make sure you get the airbag right as it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, so we're going to uh, uh, try it now, see what happens. Always stay out of the way first of the airbag, okay? And we're going to turn it on and see okay, if the airbag light will be on. If it's on, we need to clear it, but it might go away on its own and oh everything works in our case everything is great we have no problem at all there as you can see so we don't need to we don't need to reset anything with the scanner it cleared the code itself uh, it might be stored in the memory but who cares if the light doesn't work uh, it's not on and it's not in your face so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and give us a like we have uh, more videos coming soon make sure you subscribe and check out our content